All right, we are factoring linear expressions today. So how is GCF used to factor expressions is your essential question. All right, so we're going to start off with to find the GCF of monomials. So what is a monomial? Well, a monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. So it could be just a number by itself, let's say a 5. It could be a variable, let's say x, or it could be a product of a number so let's say like, uh, I don't know, 6y, okay, product of a number and one or more variables. So 6y, or maybe we have something like a 11abc, it's a product of the variables. So those are all called monomials. Here are some examples of monomials and non-monomials. So monomial 30, that's just a number. 5x, that's a product of a number and a variable. Negative 2ab, yeah, that's a product of a number and two variables. Okay, so that's those are all considered monomials, not monomials. X plus 1, well, they're adding those two things. No, I don't want adding it. It could only be products of, so only when you multiply. 2x squared, or I'm sorry, x squared y, that part's a monomial, but then as soon as I subtract an x and add a 1, that doesn't make it a monomial anymore. Just to let you know, this is called a binomial, and this is called a trinomial. Anyway, over here, negative 5a, that's okay, but then we add b, that makes it not a monomial anymore. Okay, so now we know what a monomial is. Factor, the word factor means to write a term as a product of its factors. Huh? To factor something is to break it up into its smaller pieces. We've learned this one already. So let's review. Maybe we've done some prime factorization in the past, right? We'll find the factors of the numbers. 16, that's made up of 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So those are the factors of 16. 25, that's 5 times 5. Negative 6, I put the extra negative there, so negative 1 times 2 times 3. Those are all the prime factors of those numbers. Okay, so now let's find the factors of monomials. Factors of monomials, so that means, I take a look at this, I say 12x, that's really made up of, the 12 part is 2 times 2 times 3, and the x part is just x. So this is the factors of this monomial. Okay. The only difference between this and this is you have some letters here, so it's no big difference. Take a look at this one, 20xy. Well, the 20 part, the number, coefficient if you will, is made up of 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, those are the prime factors. xy, that's just an x and a y. Those are all multiplied together to make that one here. Last one here, 11abc, 11, which is a prime number, can't break that up any further, a times b times c. Okay, so that's how you factor a monomial, just like that. All right, so if I've got the G, I want to find the GCF of each pair of monomials. So now I've got basically two questions in one. What would that look like? Well, I can break up 4 into 2 times 2 times x. I can break up 12 to 2 times 2 times 3 times x. And then I just check to see what do they have in common. They both have two 2s and an x in common. So how would I write that? It looks something like this. Right, and broke it up, 2 times 2 times x, that's 4x, 2 times 2 times 3 times x, that's 12x. The only thing they have in common are those two. So 2 times 2 times x, which is 4x. So that's what they have in common. Let's take a look at another one that I already did. 18a, 20ab. You can pause the video and see if you come up with it. All right, if you unpause the video now, you would see that this is what it'll look like. The GCF should be 2a. 18 is made up of 2 times 3, that's 6. 6 times 3 is 18, and then the A. 20 is 2 times 2, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, the only stuff they have in common are the 2s. No, no, A's, that's it. So 2 and then A is what they have in common, so 2A. Let's take a look at number 3. Again, pause the video if you like. Check to see if you'd get the answer right. Okay, if you're back now, let's take a look what you got. And again, the whole pausing video, that's kind of up to you whether you do it or not, but it is a good way to kind of study to see if you're, you're understanding it. 12CD, 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, that's 4 times 3 is 12. C and D, C times D. 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 4, 12, 36. C, D squared. D squared is there's two Ds there. Okay, let's go matching game. 2 and 2, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, C and C, D and D. So there's a 2, a 2, a 3, a C and a D in common. And so that's 12 CD. All right, we're going to factor some linear expressions. Now we're going to apply everything that we learned there. We're going to basically do the backward strategy from the distributive property, going backwards. So let's take a look. 
factor ax plus 4y, 8x plus 4y, by finding the GCF. Okay, let's take a look what I do here. So if these are the two terms, 8x and 4y, I'm going to go ahead and break them up into smaller pieces. All right, they're prime factors. And then I just look to see what do they have in common. The only stuff they have in common in this particular problem is a 2 times a 2, which in this case is 4. That's the only thing they have in common. Then take a look to see what's left over. Those three are left over. Okay, so watch how that works. I did all that, all right? wrote it for you there. Okay, so they have a 4 in common. If I pull out a 4, okay, think about this. 8x divided by 4 leaves you with 2x. It leaves you with, well, what's left over right here? 4y divided by 4 should leave you with y. Take a look. That's the only thing that didn't circle there. So 2x and a positive y. That's getting inside. If you want to double check your work, okay, if you actually check your work, you can uh, check it quite easily and say, hey, look, if I go back, 4 times 2 is 8, and then there's the x. 4 times y is 4y. And if you notice, that is your original problem. All right, here's one more, I think, for you. Try to make this quick here. Uh, here we go, factor. Take a look, 4x, that's 2 times 2 times x, negative 28, negative 1, 2, 2, and 7. What do they have in common? A 2 and a 2, which is 4. Divide that out, you get that answer. Uh, I'll give you one more, and then I'll have some extra examples if you want to look it up. Okay, they, what do they have in common? They have a 3 in common. What's left? x and 11y. Okay, you can take a look at that. Here's the last question I want to show you. 4x plus 35, what do they have in common? Well, they don't have anything in common. 4x is really 2 times 2 times x. 35 is 5 times 7. Nothing in common, so no GCF, therefore cannot be factored. All right, that's it for the video today. If you want some extra examples, there, are, there will be a second video.